All right, here we are looking at option A for the new syllabus, the 2014 syllabus. Option A is about neurobiology and behavior. It's a fantastic topic. There are standard level units and there's also three additional higher level units. We're gonna start by looking at something that's brand new here that hasn't been introduced before, but they've added it into this unit on neuroscience and behavior to kind of give us the origins of how the brain actually forms and how we're able to be able to sense everything around us. So this word right here, which is kind of hard to say fast, neurulation, 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 however you want to say it, neurulation. We need to familiarize ourselves with a few terms really quickly because it jumps straight in and assumes that you know a little bit about embryology and from the reproduction unit, you should know how the kind of embryo develops, at least the early stages from the zygote to a ball of cells and how that ball of cells starts to actually develop. So you have one cell in the beginning, then it turns into a ball of a bunch of cells. And then after a while, this ball of cells starts to kind of hollow out and turns into a blastocyst. So neurulation is the process of when this thing starts to differentiate further and before it actually turns into what we recognize as a little mini embryo, basically. It's really hard to try to picture what's going on here. This diagram here is at least showing a little bit in 3D, but you really want to be able to see an animation. And so the easiest way I can recommend is to go to YouTube and type in neurulation animation. And there's a whole bunch of things that are there. Um, some imaging techniques have been done from different universities and research facilities. But this is something that's really hard to picture in just two-dimensional diagrams. But you do need, need to be able to recognize things in two-dimensional diagrams like these. Uh, at the end of this, maybe, I don't know, this will probably split up into a few videos. But the, at the end of this, I'll give you some diagrams and kind of quiz you on making sure you can actually label some of these bits and pieces. So um, some terms you need to know up here in the top left corner, ventral, dorsal, anterior, posterior. You should know what these mean. Anterior is kind of like the head of something. The posterior is the butt. It's a fancy way. Posterior is the butt of something or the end of something. Ventral is kind of the front. So the ventral would be my tummy side and the dorsal side would be uh, the back. So I think that should help you out a little bit. So once again, near relation is basically how the nervous system develops. So let's start by looking at this first point here. All animals in the phylum chordata this links back to our biodiversity unit. You should recognize many different phyla, animal phyla and plant phyla. There is one that's called chordata. We belong there. It includes mammals, fish, amphibians, reptiles, and birds. They all develop a dorsal nerve cord at the early stage of development. And that process is called neurulation. Remember, dorsal means this backside over here. I'm tracing the back of this cute little embryo. It's amazing how freaky these things look. Here's the kind of diagram that shows what's actually happening before we actually get to this stage. The dorsal side is going to be the back side. And this makes sense because this is where our spine is and our spine is protecting our spinal cord. And that's basically what we're talking about during these early stages. So the nerve cord actually develops from the ectoderm, which is the outermost layer right here. So we're gonna see this thing called the neural plate, which is eventually gonna fold down and form the neural groove right here and this neural groove is eventually going to fold completely and turn into the neural tube and this thing is going to start elongating out of the screen uh, like towards us towards us in the screen and it's going to become the center of the spinal cord and so that's the whole process here the very first stages of how the nervous system develops so let's just recap really quickly over here so these layers, these colored layers here, oops, these colored layers here are just representing the different layers that we've kind of identified as humans and scientists trying to understand this process. So the ectoderm is the outermost layer, the endoderm is the innermost layer, meso sounds like middle, so that's the mesoderm layer right here. And the main thing that we're trying to understand is that the cells around here will form the neural plate, which will then start to fold and turn into the neural groove. This thing will then eventually fold in on itself as a neural tube and then start to elongate out of the screen. So here you can kind of see it in a 
semi three dimensional fashion. But again, go check out some videos on YouTube that are actually showing the animation of the pro this process, which I can't really uh, show here ethically, I guess. So cells on the neural plate change shape. We've got folding inwards. You can start to get this little groove. Separates from the rest of the ectoderm. So you can see that here it's starting to form its own little kind of unit that's separating from the green layer that I've colored here. And it's going to form the neural tube, which will eventually become the nerve cord, which will turn into the spinal cord. So that is the end goal of all of this. So it's all going to form along down this side right here.